Hey guys, what's up? King of Iron here, and today I'm about to give you another tutorial on PSP on how to downgrade to from 6.29 to 5.50 Gen D3. This, that's right. Uh, most of you like like um, 5.0 M33s because it's from Dark Alex and it has cool features. But right now, 5.50, I'm going to downgrade it because uh, I need to pass some certain games. For M33 to work, uh, for example, Tekken 6. So uh, I have to patch Tekken 6 for it to work. So I'm, I'm, so I'm uh, quite uh, uh, pissed about this. All right. So yeah. So I have this pa uh, pack ready. It's a, another E Light version pack. Uh, let me see where is it. Yeah, there it is. So 6.29 to 5.50 Gen D3 downgrader E Light 0.2. So if you click on it, I'll, I'll give the link in the description, you will find these folders. Now I'm going to show you where to put them and how to use them. So let's go to, uh, this is the root of your memory stick, okay, of your PSP memory stick. Just go to PSP, go to game. At this point, alright, first thing that you need to copy is this 6.3x downgrader version 3.5. So just drag and drop. Uh, there's no other... Uh, folder in it. There's no subfolder in it. Okay, so yeah, all right. And then what else you need to do is to copy this update. This is a 6.20 update. Just drag and drop. All right. Uh, should copy. Uh, yeah, there it is. Copy, 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 copy. Yeah. All right. Now the update. Now the last thing is the D and Hen. So, oh sorry, D and Hen, yeah, and there's another one, okay, so D and Hen, yes, and the SE plugins, which contains the version text file, well, I already have the SE plugins folder with the version text file, so I don't need to copy it, so make sure, if you don't have a S plugins, just create one and put the version text file in it, alright, so you have done pretty much of it, except for, this is, uh, the PSP folder, this one, this is 5.50 gen, D3 update folder. I don't want to mix everything up, so it will cause more problem. And this 5.50 DTP that will be used later on in the la last two steps. Okay, at this point, I'll do everything on my PSP. So, all right, uh, quick view for 6.39. I'm using 6.39, and I hope you can see it properly. But and forget about the MAC address. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to, ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm going to my go. I'm going to go to my uh, gain tab, and I will find this uh, 6.20 downgrader. Uh, so you just and what else I will find is the 6.20 update version, and the T and Home View Enabler, and the rest of the stuff won't be. This is PSP2 and Recovery Flash. They will be coming handy. So yeah. So first of all, you have to run the 6.20 uh, downgrader. So just press X to run and it's running so it will take a little time uh, not time but all right it's loading it's loading all right now uh, it says it's running it's a warning thingy just press x to start or press r to exit i'm just gonna press x Maybe. Okay, yeah, now I pressed it. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's verifying this uh, update folder, the SE plugins. Okay, now it's looking for the uh, 6.20 update folder and it should pop out any second. Any second, I can probably say. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. 6.20 yes there it is 6.20 downgrader just start okay so what else you need in this little license agreement yeah license agreement i accept and then just express x to install yes now it will install i will come back later until it's done all right so it's done it's done uh downgrading just press x to restart i'm going to press x to restart and it's gonna restart my PSP 
and I'm going to show you that's downgraded to 6.20 femoris. See, you can see the logo, and there you go. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, just, this, this is nothing. This is a blue screen of that. Just press circle to restart your PSP. It's gonna press. Uh, just press circle, and all right. Now the PSP is rebooted. It's rebooting the PSP. Uh, I hate. I so hate the blue screen of that. If you like, if you hate the blue screen of that, just uh, comment about the blue screen of that. I so hate blue screen of that. All right. Now what? Oh yes. While the blue screen of that comes, it also uh, formats your settings, which is a really bad thing. I so hate uh, that. I so hate this. The, that formats the setting. All right. Just press. Uh, just select your. Uh, just configure your settings. When you configure my settings, come on. Where are you? Yes. All right. Yes. Now. All right. Here it is. I'm going to show you that it's downgrade 6.20. System information. There. 6.20. Well, damn it! You can't see it. Let me close it up. It's 6.20. Yes, 6.20. Yes, go back now. Now, what you have to do is to delete the unnecessary that uh, 6.20 downgrader is no longer in use now. Just delete and even the 6.20 downgrade, uh, the update folder as well. All right, now you have now what step you have to do you have to run this key and home view enabler. Now this will make your 6.20 a temporary, temporary custom firmware. Just press X. Now it's gonna launch. Your screen might go black for a few seconds until it come back to its own original state. Just wait uh, for a few seconds. See, it's gone black, and it will come back to a normal state. See, there we go. Now your PSP is custom firmware. You can see this new option called TN settings. I'm going to go to system settings. I'm going to prove it to you that it's put temporary custom firmware. See? TNE. TN 6.20 TNE. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to go back. And what else you have to do is to go to TN settings. Okay. TN settings. Go to configuration. Go to configuration. And go down until uh, until you see this fake index that off. If you see this off, just turn it on. All right. Let me see if there was version text file I can say. There was no. All right. Now what have you do? Now yeah. Now since it's custom firmware, you can press the select button. That that will get you the wish menu. All you have to go is to, uh, restart device. No, maybe not restart device right now. All you have to do is go to your uh, hook up your PSP. It's just USB. I'm just gonna come back. All right, it's going to connect. Yeah. All right. So I'm, so I'm going to show you everything on my computer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now performing the last two steps. Now all you have to do is to up copy the uh, 5.50 Gen D3 update folder and paste it in the PSP game where you paste the rest of the folders. And all right, it's done. Let's go back. Go to look up your memory stick and finally copy the 5.50 kbp and paste it in the root of your memory stick it might take a while so come on copy 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 and there now now let's perform final step and close everything now or you can also delete the end, end uh, update folder but it's not necessary right now. You can do it later on. Just all right. All right. Something strange happened, and my custom firmware is no longer. It's gone. It's come. It's uh, it's back in 6.20. I have to make it into a TN home enabler again. I have to turn it into TN. Yeah, shit. Okay, there it is. Just gonna press X. It's gonna make my 6.20 TN here again. I restarted my PSP accidentally and yeah it turned into 6.20 again so i told you it's official it's a temporary uh, custom firmware so all right
And now, once you have copied the 5.50 and uh, and the update folder, now you're ready to install the 5.50 Gen D3. All right, you see, I've already copied it, and there it is. Let's press X, and there you go. Voila! You have access to 5.50 Gen D3 setup. Congratulations! Now it's going to install. All right, we get into this different type of menu, not a normal menu that you uh, get into normal games. Like, okay, so all right, just press enter. Okay, now you see this uh, flash install CFW 5.50 Gen D3. Now this is what you have to select X on it. Just press X. All right, now I'm going to install the firmware. I'm going to pause the video until it's done. Okay. All right, now it's done. All you have to do is to shut down. Uh, you have to reboot your PSP. You have to go to recovery menu to make some few changes. Uh, just press X and file, press uh, while rebooting. You have to press the R trigger along with it. So it's gonna. All right, now you're in the recovery menu. All you have to do is go to advanced. And I'm going to make some optional changes for myself. Uh, all right, if you see the UMD mode currently on uh, normal, you have to change it to M33 driver, which is the uh, this is one thing that you have to note. Okay, and I'm going to make my uh, fake region to debug type one because I'm in Asia, but it doesn't support any Asian country right here. Oh, okay, debug no, I have to do it again. Damn it. Debug what I want, okay? And then I've already you can disable the version text file and use M3, okay? Hide MAC address, yes, uh, enabled. And all right, there it is. Now you can go back and exit out. Can exit, and there you go. You got your uh, PSP downgrade to 5.50 Gen D3. If you don't believe me, if you still don't believe me. I'm going to prove it to you right here, right now. 5.50 Gen D3. Take that, suckers. Oh, yeah. Now, thanks for watching my video. If you like it, click like, favorite it, subscribe if you want to see more PSP videos. And thanks for watching.